the menopausal ovary continues to secrete testosterone despite loss of estrogen for three to five years. Testosterone is a critical hormone for growth and maintenance of muscle mass in men and women. Although testosterone secretion from the ovaries remains modest in menopausal women, its subsequent decline certainly plays a role in loss of skeletal muscle mass. Testosterone was not measured in the study by Lee at all in those women who went through premature ovarian insufficiency. So they didn't measure testosterone, they didn't measure growth hormone, and that is a landmark study. Number one, sarcopenia is muscle loss. And this is from Menopause. It's an editorial from 2022 from the actual Menopause Society Journal. Testosterone is a critical hormone for growth and maintenance of muscle mass in men and women. Although testosterone secretion from the ovaries remains modest in menopausal women, its subsequent decline certainly plays a role in the loss of skeletal muscle mass. And here's the thing I've been thinking about all week long. Ready? The association of low estrogen environments such as surgical menopause or premature ovarian insufficiency was shown by Lee et al. suggests a major role for estrogen in maintaining muscle mass. Estrogen's direct effect can be mediated by estrogen receptors present in skeletal muscle or indirectly by altered secretion of insulin growth factor or growth hormone. Estrogen receptor concentrations are higher in children and reproductive aged women compared to postmenopausal women. There is evidence that estrogen improves muscle strength with prevention of strength loss in postmenopausal women on hormone therapy. Growth hormone and insulin growth factor 1 deficiency is associated with sarcopenia in elderly. Now, this is men and women combined. This makes perfect sense. We know this, that as we age, we lose this. This is why I like to talk about weightlifting for women to increase growth factor. This is why lifting 30 minutes is really important.